Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, so I haven't actually uploaded a video in quite a while. It's been, I think, two weeks. Um, but obviously this month my priorities have been different. But over this weekend, because it was like a long bank holiday weekend, um, I found some time to do some fragrance reviews. So today I'm going to be doing two of them. So with me here today, I've actually got this um Christian Dior Private Collection Discovery set. So it's got 10 of the Private Collection fragrances. So I'm going to open this up and show you how it looks inside. So that is how it is inside. So you've got like miniature 7.5ml bottles of 10 of their fragrances from the private collection. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the first one in there, which is the Amber Nui. And also I'm going to be doing a review on the Turbo Color, which I got uh, complimentary with the order. So it's that one there. With these, because they're the miniature versions of the actual fragrance, they're only 7.5 mils, so they are very, very tiny bottles, and they're like that, so they're not a spray on, they're kind of like the dab on versions that you get. We'll start off with this one, which is Toba Color. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right Toba Color, Toba Color. I'm going to call it Toba Color. The tobacco color was actually launched in 2021, it's an amber tobacco fragrance with fruity notes. Um, this one you can only purchase 125 mils for 220 pound and I think there's one size above that as well. So the minimum that you can buy for this fragrance is the 125 ml bottle which is 220 pounds. So according to Fragrantica the main notes in this fragrance are tobacco, tobacco leaf, honey, smoke, plum, white tobacco, oriental notes, amber, peach and citruses. So when I tried this on, I only dabbed, um, I only did one dab on my wrist, on my clothes and also on a fragrance strip. So my first impression of this fragrance was that it's a very soft tobacco scent with some fruitiness. If you don't like the smell of tobacco, this can give you a slight headache like it did to me, even though it's not strong. It's a very light tobacco scent, a very soft tobacco scent. But if you don't like tobacco scents, then this can give you a slight headache. I definitely didn't find it strong or harsh. The fruitiness that you get with the initial application or initial spray disappears after a few minutes and the tobacco scent stays for approximately three hours. It's very much a smoky tobacco scent for the first three hours. Even after washing my hands, I could smell the, um, the scent on my wrist quite clearly and that was just after one wash. After about three hours, the smoky tobacco scent starts to go down slightly. It's still there, but the fruitiness starts to kick in again. So you can sense the peach and light hints of citrus, but as I said, the smokiness is still there. It actually projects quite well um, from just one dab, so the spray format will definitely be a lot better. I think it's the autumn winter scent um, because of the smokiness that it has. So at the 7 hour mark the scent is still going quite strong with good projection of my clothes but the scent becomes more of a sweet fruity scent with light smoke at the back. So overall the scent lasts about 5 hours on my skin and 6 hours on my clothes with fairly average projection with just one dab. After 6 hours on my clothes the strength does start to go down but it hasn't disappeared completely, it's still there but it's just that if you take your nose closer to where you've sprayed it then you'll be able to smell it a lot more. So for me the performance was quite average, I got 5 hours on skin and about 6 hours off my clothes. But even that 6 hours off my clothes, it's with average projection, so on clothes it does last a bit longer, but after 6 hours the strengths just start to go down. To be honest, I preferred the dry down scent of the sweet fruitiness with light smokiness in the background, as I'm not really into tobacco scents. Of course from the name it's obvious what the scent will be like, um, but I got this as a free sample, so I was very curious to know how it was. I wouldn't personally purchase this and pay for this myself. Now that I've tried it and I've done a review on it and I know that it's, it is a nice smell, the quality is obviously really really good, the performance is average but it's not my type of smell so I probably will be giving this away in the future but we'll see. So from the top of my head I felt like I've smelt something like this before from another fragrance house but I can't remember which one it was because it was a few months back. But the opening of this actually reminds me of Aqua Fragrances' Smoke Perfume. It feels like an ashtray, um, but Smoke by Aqua Fragrances is also a lot stronger and also has a mix of barbecue scent in it, whereas this doesn't have that barbecue scent in it, but the, the opening of both is very similar. So that is the um, Acro, uh, sorry, the Smoke Fragrance by Aqua Fragrances. I tried that out a couple of the days, so that's why it's like stuck in my head, but it is very, very similar. They both smell like a smoky ashtray, very much a tobacco scent. I know there are lots of people out there that like tobacco scents so if you do then I suggest you try this out because the quality is of course really really good I mean it's deal and the performance is average so definitely try it out. 
If I remember the other fragrance that I smelled a few months ago, which I found was similar to this, then I'll definitely let you know in the comments box below afterwards. But at the moment, I really can't remember. The only one I can think of is the Smoke Fragrance by Aqua Fragrances, only because I smelled that like a few days ago. So the other one I'm going to be doing today is the Amber Nui, which is also from the Private Collection by Dior. So this one was actually launched in 2009, which was quite a while ago. It's an amber fragrance for women and men. In this one, though, you get smaller versions. You get a 40ml bottle for £110, and then you get the 125ml bottle for £220. So you will find that um, in the Private Collection, all of the, um, or most of the 125 ml bottles are approximately 220 pounds. This one, the top notes are bergamot and grapefruit, the mid notes are damask, ro damask rose and pink pepper, and the base notes are ambergris, guyac wood, cedar and patchouli. So with this as well, I dabbed it once on my wrist, on my clothes and on the fragrance strip. My first impression from this is definitely you feel the citrus at first. It's not too strong or overpowering, but it's actually nice and subtle. You can also feel the woody notes which become more dominant within seconds and the citrus starts to go down. The projection is good. I mean, it doesn't fill up the room as much, but it projects nicely off skin and clothes at least two meters away. At the three hour mark, we get a rose scent with a good balance of pink pepper and light woody notes in the back. It's actually a beautiful, well-balanced, delicate scent, nothing too strong. It feels like a common woody scent with rose at the three hour mark, which you'll find in lots of fragrance houses. I think the light citrus opening just gives it that difference, but it's very, very light at the three hour mark. I don't know if my nose was blinded by the scent or if the strength had really gone down. It hadn't disappeared completely, but it was really, really light. The thing is with the tobacco color, I only did one dab and it was projecting quite nicely, so any more of that than it would have been too strong. So with this I also only did one dab and I think that's why it wasn't, I feel like that's why it didn't last that long because I asked my husband to smell smell it as well and he said he found it really light too, so it wasn't just my nose. So I went back to this one and I did four or five, four to five dabs on a fragrance strip and it was definitely a lot stronger but also quite sparkly at the start. But those four to five dabs actually meant that the performance was a little bit longer, so it went beyond two hours. So four to five dabs of Amber Nui on the fragrance strip took me to about six to seven hours with good projection. And the dry down was a woody scent with hints of patchouli and light rose, which came out at the four hour mark. It's a likeable scent, definitely, but for me, I think it needs to be oversprayed because, as I said, one dab didn't get me far. This one, I think it's a year around scent. I wouldn't specifically term it to a specific season. For the price though, maybe I was expecting slightly better performance. I mean, it's not bad, it's good actually, it's average. Um, but I probably had high expectations going into this because it's the private collection. But when you compare the two, so this one was launched in 2009 and this one was 2021. So obviously there's a difference in both of them. This one, I felt that with just one dab, it was very, very light and it needed to be over oversprayed, I would call it over dabbed. Whereas this one, the, the tobacco color, with just one dab, it was it was averagely strong. It wasn't too strong, it was on average. So that is the tobacco color and the Amber Nui. Of course, I've got another nine fragrances from my beautiful private collection to review, so do look out for those coming soon. My voice has actually started to change um, the more that I'm talking, so I'm going to stop talking now. So do look out for my next video coming soon, guys, and thank you for your continued support. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comments box below, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.